It's funny, Taylor just sent me this message. Hey, saw this in an article, thought of something. Tech and educate customer. There are many ways a CSM customer service manager can foster customer value, but none are quite as effective as teaching and sharing valuable information. Exceptional customer service managers understand that their customers are always looking for new, better, and easier ways of doing their job or increasing the bottom line. And she goes, you always have great insights um, about the industry. As you come across articles, can you please send them to Chris and I? She goes, I want to, us to be informed on all possible angles. I said, done and done. Uh, if you pray for rain, you better bring an umbrella. And so I think it's our job to make sure that, that they're connected, they understand what we're doing, they, they get tips and tricks. I don't think this is just for CSMs, I think this is for us in general. Right now we do things like we bring speakers in, which is great. We do these things, but how do we make it formal? So I met with uh, Maureen Barker, who's a good friend of mine, Oh yeah, I, I'm the bottleneck because I have a lot of domain expertise because and they don't. you have knowledge and there's so many nuances to it, you feel. Yeah. Like it's hard to really express that to yeah. them, right? Yeah. And so we ended up saying, well, why don't we just do like a Tyler's 30 day challenge and make it fun. So like. That's good. I like, I like this. And every single day, Monday through Friday, we are going to send you a new clip. And it's short, it's to the point. I think this is the best way to start to get uh, our team members here better connected to their users. So first it takes you to this. Ooh, you like? Now these are the wiring instructions. So first we educate them on wire. So imagine this is like home base, right? Like you could see the documents you signed and everything. Um, but we're starting with just those three one, those three items, which I'll have mocks for them because we're gonna start building it here soon. This is our original Skyslip Bootcamp. We talk about four levels of agents, what a franchisee versus a franchisor and independent. This shows the real estate industry and the process. That is not a good photo of me. I don't know what I was doing. So then you look at DJ. Sold first company to Chegg, professional pool basketball player. Then you go to Jesse's, which is even like the worst, right? Favorite word is boom. At the time it was just Jesse and I, and Jesse literally, I would do a demo. Jesse would literally, he probably still has his notes. He wrote word for word out of my demo. He would read his script. This is how Jesse learned it, it's crazy. We actually have, I think I have a photo of him sitting at his desk and you could see his notes. He still can't veer off of not memorizing it. He uses the same jokes, which are horrible jokes. This was our training. Go get some B-roll of his jokes. Yes. Oh yeah. Noted. Tyler's over here talking smack about, oh Jesse has the same jokes over and over and over again. But people laugh at him. It's, it's insane. I don't know why people still laugh at him, but. First of all, I didn't learn any of those from him. I learned zero from Tyler. I had to add those in over the years and explicitly splice them in. Uh, I'll give you the one that always works. Actually, no, I can't do that because may be watching that. I'm sorry. If you want to learn my jokes, here's what I recommend. Go to sales at skyslip.com and submit a demo request and you'll find out what my jokes are. Boom. <laughs> so pretty dope, right? So then you can do these. Okay. Popular services near you. Now we don't know how we're playing that out, but this is what we pitch. We'll have built an MVP of this in 90 days. Pretty big. It'll be dope. Cool, brother. Love you. I like doing things a little different. I'll give you guys something that happened over the Super Bowl is Amazon Prime did a, uh, a commercial that said, you can watch this, but you only have 24 hours to watch this preview. It's not coming out till, I don't know, April or something. So of course, what the hell did I do? I was like, well, this seems like a great commercial, like a great preview to this series. I gotta watch it. And I watched it and it was great. But it's like, how do you create that urgency or do something different? It literally said, Hey, here's this preview and everyone's like, ooh, I wanna watch this. You can watch the first episode today and only today in the next 24 hours. And so what they do is they, they rushed everyone to watch it. Now, I don't know how many people did it because a lot of people are probably drunk and, you know, over -served. <laughs> I was actually, you know, uh, normal and just stayed at home with, you know, and didn't do much. And so I watched it and it was great. And it's, a, it's something I'll subscribe to. It's something I'm thinking about, obviously, and talking about right now. I wish that I can literally take out a hard drive out of my brain and stick it in anyone else's brain and they just, we can roll. 